So this is a simple setup from modeling. A high risk skirt with 100,000 triangles and just the lower part of the body. Now before we start simulating the skirt, we really need to check for and fix any intersections between the body and the skirt and self intersections in the skirt. However, the director wants us to maintain the shape of the start mesh as close to the original as possible. Now fortunately, that's easy to do with carbon as we can use the original intersecting mesh as a carbon reference mesh and the edited mesh that no longer intersects as the start mesh. That will get us back as close as possible to the original. So let's see how we can set this scene up. First, let's check if we have any intersection between the body and the garment. And because there's two separate meshes, that's fairly easy to do visually. So here we can see that both calves are pushing through the skirt. Now we need to check the skirt for self intersection. For that, we need to use an inspection tool and I'm going to use the one from Soup. So you can see here that there are two places where the skirt intersects. So we need to untangle those as well. However, first, before we edit the skirt mesh, we need to make a duplicate copy because this will act as our carbon reference mesh. The edited original will be the start mesh and this copy will be the reference mesh. Okay, there we go. So now we can start pulling out the vertices to untangle the skirt. We just need to make sure we're working on the original and not the copy. So first on the legs, let's just paint some vertices on the skirt and pull them out. Just like that for both legs. And now on the intersection of the skirt, first we need to check the intersection locations and then for each one, pull one layer away from the other. Now double check the result. Job done, no intersections. Okay, let's move on to set this up as a carbon scene. First, making sure that we have the skirt shape selected as that's gonna be our start mesh. Now click on the cloth icon on the carbon shelf. And finally, let's turn the character body into a carbon collider. Now we need to just check the simulation length scale. And as this scene is set up where one Maya unit is one centimeter, and carbon uses SI units, so that means the length scale should be 0.01. .01. Let's also check we've got some sensible values for cloth thickness and density. So density is set to 0 0.25, that's 250 grams per square meter, that's fine. And thickness should be one or two millimeters. So again, as the scale is now in centimeters, that means the thickness should be set to 0 0.1 for one millimeter. I'm also, for the purposes of this demo, going to turn off gravity as I just want to show the removal of the intersections without other factors. Let's remember we set this up with edited skirt mesh as a start mesh, as you can see here. And the reference mesh is set to none. So at this point, the start mesh will also be used as a reference mesh. If we run the simulation, you can see no change because the start mesh and the reference mesh are the same. If we now go back and set the reference mesh to be the original unedited skirt mesh, and we rerun the simulation, now we see the skirt trying to get back to the original shape as set by the reference mesh. But when the skirt collides with the leg, it is stopped from interpenetrating again. You can see that some energy is injected as the start mesh moves to conform to the reference mesh. As we showed earlier, you can kill this by using lead simulation in carbon cloth for Maya or using a gold mesh in carbon for Maya and Houdini. So if we select the gold mesh to be the same as the reference mesh and give it say a strength of 100, you can see that energy wave is absorbed. And also you get a small bump in the skirt where it's pushing onto the leg. Once you have an acceptable start mesh, then it's probably best to disable the gold mesh. Otherwise, if you're doing animation or anything similar, you're going to have to manage the gold mesh as well. You can adjust these settings to your director's taste. This was just a simple example of using start, reference and gold meshes. You can check out the other videos for more complex applications. Thank you for watching.